Oh, this smells wonderful. Food Ninjas, welcome to the video. Today, we're finally gonna do a do-it-yourself video. Now, I have done these in the past, and a lot of you guys have criticized my cooking because I myself know I am a terrible cook, but I cannot fail this one. This is too easy. I have experience in this. I'm making a jailhouse burrito, a prison style burrito, whatever you wanna call it. But I have experience in this. I've been to jail more times than I can count. It's been 10 years, guys. It's been 10 years. But I've been in jail more times than I can count, so I have experience making jailhouse burritos. Although today, we're gonna make a giant jailhouse burrito with six ramens. Usually you just use one, but we're using six. So I've been wanting to do this video for a few weeks now after me and Livia binge watch the show on Netflix, Lock Up. We literally watched every single episode. So for the ingredients that I have in front of me, we have tuna, which you can buy in jail or prison, cheese sticks, bunch of Slim Jims, a can of refried beans, a bag of Frito chips, six packs of Top Ramen. So for the items that we're gonna use to make this is, I have this pot full of water already. I have this portable stove on here that's going to boil the water. And yes, I know you can't boil water in jail. You can in prison because you can, this thing is called the stinger. You plug it into the outlet and you put, you take the wires and you stick it in the water and it boils the water. Fortunately, we have this portable stove. In jail, you just take faucet water, the warmest you can get. Get a bowl, put a lid on it, and you just put the noodles and just let the noodles soak into the water. I have plastic bags, which I'm gonna mix everything in and then I'm gonna wrap it into a towel. And that's all the stuff that we're gonna need. So let's go ahead and try to make this prison style burrito. All right, so it's been five minutes and the water is boiling already. So we're gonna go ahead and unpackage this. And I'm not gonna break them. I usually break them when I eat it for pleasure, but I want the noodles to stay in form and it's gonna be a lot easier if I have the noodles all along instead of all broken up and I feel like it's just gonna break apart in pieces. Just put them in just like that. And last but not least, the six. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more water. No, I think we can do it. A few moments later. And the noodles are 100% done. So the next step of what we're gonna do, grab this bowl, grab this plastic bag. I'm gonna go ahead and strain the water. Oh, this is hot. All right. Gonna go ahead and tie this up. To strain it, I'm gonna go ahead and poke holes in this. It's not working. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, this isn't too hard. Ah, right, it's hot! Okay, um, go ahead and, ah, damn it, that's hot! Okay, and let's not poke the holes too big. That should work. It needs to hurry up. I don't got all that. Hi, this thing is hot! The next day. I'm gonna go ahead and get another bag and put this bag in there because now this bag has holes in it. Bowl. Now we have that to mix in all our items with. I'm gonna go ahead and open this cheese. <laughs> now you just wanna like, you know, chop it up. Boom. And there's a lot more ingredients that you can put in this, obviously. There's a lot of stuff that you can buy in gel. You can get really creative. I mean, you can put honey buns in this thing if you want. Snickers bars, you know, there's nothing that's off limits. But for my sake, I'm just gonna go with something pretty basic. Now this cheese is gonna melt right into the noodles. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be super cheesy. We have two packs of tuna. We gotta get our protein in. I think this is, the... sorry, that bite was really hot. Put some tuna in there. We need our protein. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw beef sticks in there. Just gonna take a little bite. <clears throat> okay, you know what, I need scissors. Got a knife. And just to let you guys know, uh, me and Livia did start a new channel. The channel name is Nate and Liv. I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, but we started a new channel specifically for wanting to upload whatever we want. Now, Livy already posted the first video. I think it's a really good video. It's how me and her first met, like the first conversation, the first message. Obviously for this channel, it's food related. Some other things, but for the most part, all gonna be like challenges and you know stuff that people wanna see or the majority of people wanna see. It'll be fun, I hope. And I'm definitely going to um, do my side of how we first met. And for the next item, we're gonna go ahead and add these refried beans. I like refried beans. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. And then for the last thing, this is actually gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna look awesome too. Maybe one of you guys will decide, I wanna make a gel hot burrito. Let me just get one bite of this. Oh, I didn't even put in the packets yet. I almost forgot the most important item, the packaging. One. One more bite before I wrap it up. 
I'm gonna end up doing a mukbang, all prison foods. I'm gonna make a cake, a jailhouse burrito, lasagna, in a future video, I think it'd be cool. Olivia's the one that actually gave me that idea. After learning how to make this, if any of you guys go to jail, which I do not recommend, you know how to make a jailhouse burrito. I think that's about mixed up. Okay, so my life feels so much better. Less claustrophobic. So the next step, we're gonna go ahead and use parch paper. Uh, usually in gel, you'll use like newspapers to kind of like wrap it up and then wrap it in a towel, but I don't have newspaper. So this is gonna do. I'm gonna dump that all in the table. Ooh, it actually turned out really good. It's gonna be like the size of a little baby. You guys probably think it looks disgusting. This looks really good to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and form the burrito, but I'm gonna make it kind of long. That's what she said. I think that looks good. It's definitely gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it like so. Go ahead and wrap this one, flip it. One last step. We're gonna grab this towel and wrap this. Boom. And that's all the steps it takes to make a jailhouse burrito. Now, the last thing to do is just leave this here for about 30 minutes. Let it just soak the juices inside of the noodles and when I open it, it should be formed pretty well. That's what we're hoping. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so it is the moment of truth. It's been about 30, 40 minutes. I let this cook, didn't want to bother it and I'm hoping it comes out correct. Come on, Nathan. You got this, bro. Look at that. Yes, it turned out exactly the way it was supposed to. Yes! Yeah, look at that. That is a... Burrito, that is definitely, that is so, it's beautiful. It's like ugly, but it's beautiful, you know? This thing probably weighs like a good five pounds, like a, like a good five pounds. Yeah, this is, this is pretty tough. All right guys, so this shouldn't be too tough. I grabbed the timer because I, my, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to take longer than 10 minutes. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it's just ramen. It should just go down very, very easy. I'm very interested to know how this tastes. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the timer in three, two, one. Timer has started. Now, I wish I could just grab it like a burrito, but that's not gonna happen. All right, here's the first bite. It tastes just like gel. Mm. By the way, this is about, this is about 5,000 calories. When you're locked up in prison, this is how you get swole. Carbs and protein. Ugh, those noodles are traveling so slow. Oh yeah. Okay, we're halfway in. And uh, if I want to eat this in another 10 minutes, I have to hurry up. Um. It's crazy to think that making a burrito, making a burrito with one pack was filling in gel. Oh. One minute left. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Ah. God damn it. I could have done it in under 10 minutes if I didn't talk so much. It's probably gonna piss a lot of you guys off, but I can't not talk. I don't know, I know some of you guys hate it when I talk during eating. I feel like, I don't know, it, like I have to make it interesting somehow. Mm. 
I could have definitely shaved off a minute or two. I like communicating with you guys, tell you guys the flavors and how it is, or if I don't like it, or if I'm complaining, or whatever the case may be. I have to speak. I'll tell you what though, that burrito was not that bad. Way better than the food that they serve you in jail. Do me a favor, smash that like button, be much appreciated. If you guys wanna see more of like these do-it-yourself videos, um, let me know in the comment section. I think they're fun. I'll do some crazier stuff than this. I just really wanted to do this because it's it been on my mind for a while. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. As always, you guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.